I mean, l- listen, the fact of the matter is this. Pac-Man Jones, Montez Burfick specifically, to a significantly lesser degree, Pac-Man Jones. And uh, the Cincinnati Bengals came in there, fired up. They hate the Steelers. Their emotions were unchecked. And Marvin Lewis toyed with this enough. Mar- Marvin Lewis needs to be fired. I'm not saying that he doesn't deserve to be a head coach, but a damn sure don't need to be in Cincinnati. You've coached there for 12 years. You've been in the playoffs seven times. You've lost all seven games, which gives you the worst postseason record in NFL history for a head coach. And then on top of it all, to go out like this, we all know what time this is. First of all, if you're a coach, You've got to have control. But especially if you're an African-American coach and you got black players that don't know how to act, why the hell should you be the coach? I mean, you don't know better? You don't know how to control yourself? You are literally playing in a league where you have a license to assault people on the field as long as it's within the rules and you can't even follow that? And how many times, y'all, were they ignoring Marvin Lewis? How many times? How many times? I ain't saying you don't deserve to be a head coach, but you need to be the hell out of Cincinnati. As far as I'm concerned, the Cincinnati Bengals organization expected because the reports are already saying they completely support Marvin Lewis and there's no consideration of letting him go. All you're doing is telling the fan base in Cincinnati you don't give two cents about what they want, what they think, how they feel. Just give us your money, sit in the cold behind stadium, and shut the hell up. That's what you're telling the fans in Cincinnati by keeping the coach who can't win in a postseason. It's ridiculous. Marvin Lewis deserves to be fired. He's had enough of a chance in Cincinnati. Let him coach somewhere else, but not Cincinnati. Period.